happy Friday, everybody. We've made it through another week. And today we're going to get a little salty with you. We have three salted caramel flavors. Yes, there's actually three of them. There's probably more than three of them out there, but these are the three most popular ones. We have an old, the oldest one in the group is Flavor West Salted Caramel. Then we have one that came out a couple of years ago that unseated salt, uh, Flavor West as the top salted caramel, and that's Vape Train's Salted Caramel. And then this bad boy came out a couple of weeks ago, and it just blew everybody away. Caramel Salted from Wonder Flavors. Three, three salted caramels that all, well, the two, the Flavor West and the Vape Train, you can sub them in and out. Uh, you're not, I mean, the Vape Train is a more accurate than the flavor west and then you got the new one the salted caramel which is literally you can taste the saltness you can taste the salt you know it's like licking somebody's tears and then you have that nice rich caramel flavor in there so let's go ahead let's uh look at what some other mixers have said about these flavors show you some recipes show you some flavor pairings and then i'll let you get started on your weekend let's go everybody First, we're going to start off with salted caramel from Vape Train Australia. Average mixing percentage is 1.5. Uh, single flavor mix is 3. Uh, some quick notes. Let's see. Frunksters has some. Not too many notes on here. Let's check out. Let's check out Frunksters. It says a good middle ground caramel flavor. No saltiness as fully expected. But... It is a light, bright, mellow caramel. It's fairly sugary, sugar rich, being at the top end of mid sweet, almost a scorched caramel flavor. Overall, pretty good, very workable. Slight smoky, a little creamy, a tad sweeter than I would like, but a good flavor. He tested at three percent, and there's his mixing recommendation is as an accent 0.75 to 1.5, main note two to two and a half, and single flavor three and up. There are not too many notes. It gets paired up well with, or at least popular with sweetener, uh, vanilla ice cream, liquid barn, caramel butter, wonder flavors, absolutely. Uh, golden syrup vape train, you know, toffee ice cream, vanilla custard, uh, hmm, some layered salted caramels with flavor West, uh, coffee milk broth, acetyl pyrazine, and ripple. Only 52 public recipes. Not too many ratings. The newer flavor. Uh, let's see. Right here you can see. I didn't realize mine was the second highest rating, rating flavor with using this one. I used it here at three quarters of a percent in my Bananas Foster Cheesecake. Because I, what I wanted to do with this mix is, you know, I could have taken the easy way out and just used TFA Bananas Foster and maybe work around you know build it up a little bit with some extra caramel and stuff like that but i want to build a bananas foster from the ground up and then use you know cheesesteak and cheesesteak cheesecake and creme brulee and you know there was a couple of newer flavors for me here that i wanted to play with and this mix turned out really good it's i haven't mixed in a while i may have to do that soon because i'm hankering for a good banana this one used been Banana puree from Wonder Flavors at two, Bavarian cream at two, brown sugar at a half, creme brulee from an aware at one and a quarter, golden butter capella at 0.5. It might have been the last time I pulled that flavor out of the drawer. Uh, graham cracker clear TFA, Jamaican special at 0.75, salted caramel vape train 0.75, and yes, we cheesecake from an aware at two and a half. I didn't make, I didn't put any notes, which is this should have. But I guess now people are going to read the notes. I mean, watch this video and kiss some notes. Uh, Nevins with Hobo Goblins Custard. Here he uses it at 1.5% with uh, let's see, biscuit and uh, cheesecake graham crust to help boost the custard notes, uh, golden syrup. So I think that helps with the caramel here. Gives you that uh, maple flavor. Uh, marshmallow for some added sweetness, super sweet. Uh, oat and cream cookie at five. Vanilla custard at six. 
is an interesting mix there. Tam's got 321 salted caramel butter cake. This is a newer mix from August of last year. Here she uses it at 2% with Philadelphia butter cake as the three and crumble topping at one. Nice simple three, two, one there. Looks good. Uh, let's see, Tam's got a couple more. But before that, we got Tramp Summer Sock Chef's Flavors. Let's see, use Brazilian coffee at two with RY4 at five, nut mix at one. Use the salted caramel really high here at four. Uh, shisha vanilla at one and liquid barns vanilla ice cream at three and a half. Now let's go to salted caramel flavor west. Let's check out some quick notes. This caramel has gotten some really good reviews from quite a few sources, including DIY or Die. Uh, this is another older flavor. Uh, not very salty, but quite caramelly. That's a word. It's from James. Uh, let's see, a lot of... And Chachi, buttery, rich, soft caramel, almost syrupy, not quite as sweet. The name is misleading, was has no hint of salt whatsoever. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary with you know, off notes or anything like that. It's a really, it's a smooth, it's a good caramel. It's not... It's not a bad caramel by any means. If you're really on a budget and you don't have the extra couple of bucks for the vape train one, and especially if you're here in the U.S., go ahead and get the Flavor West and you'll be fine. I mean, you're, you're used with sweetener, vanilla custard, butterscotch dripple, sweet cream, Bavarian cream, Vienna cream, AP, vanilla swirls, you know, F.A. Caramel, you know, pair it up. I mean, it's, it's another it's an old mix. I mean, it's an old flavor. I mean, probably top one, yeah, see, 2015. Salt the Caramel Dream from JoJo. Simple, easy, use it at five with sweet cream from TFA at two, Vienna cream FA at one. Uh, this is only a tiny hint of salted. She's not getting salt from this. She's getting creaminess. I don't see... I think the only reason why she's thinking she's getting saltiness is... Just because of the name. And here she's saying it did get saltier. Or no, no, someone else said it did get saltier. Okay. If you believe so, that's fine. But you will know, see CCD3 Remix Spot On. This is from 2017. He uses MTS Vape Wizard at one. Uses it's all the caramel 15%. Nevins did. Super sweet at a half and vanilla bean ice cream at seven. Not very coil friendly. No, it's not. And rebuildable ad monitor recommended. Yes. If you want to swap out the caramel, you can swap it out with Cupcake World's creamy caramel. And be slightly friendlier to your coils and but not as salty. I don't get salt from this flavor. I really don't. It's just a really good caramel. Let's see. Uh, Country Living uses it, and you go you go to gold. Godly Scotch updated recipe uses the salted caramel at one percent just to help boost with the you know boost up some of the butterscotches and the you got toasted marshmallows and stuff in there. I mean, good looking mix. Oh, let's see. Fresh uses it in 2017. Wrap into Roro. Roro, I haven't seen her around forever. Uh, Flavor West Butter Scotch at a half. Salted Caramel at three. Uses espresso. Some swirl and some vanilla whipped cream. So, see, you're using, people are using anywhere between three to five percent to really get that, you know, that real caramelly note. Let's see, I, the salted part, I don't know. I, I don't see it, but and here it's used it too with bananas and toffee and stuff like that. Now here's one that is salty. This is salted caramel wonder flavors. This is brand new. Probably won't be much in a way. Notes note Rin says a dark caramel with would be described as 
slight saltiness. It's more of an accent. The in-your-face salt would be perfect for a Cracker Jack mix. Prefer a single flavor at 0.3. Uh, let's see, you have median 1%. Single flavor is only 0 0.8. So it's just very new. Uh, see, it's been used with a lot of newer flavors, like cookie dough, vanilla gelato, cotton candy, jelly bean, French vanilla pick. Yeah, these are all the new wonder flavors, basically. Well, caramel butter is not. But mocha and cream is. Uh, whipped cream fresh is. Probably not a whole lot. There's only 12, 12 public recipes here, 89 private. Let's see who's done what here. Astro Tommy V uses it in Lick It. With, uh, we talked about this one last week with the SSA Butterscotch in there. He uses this at 1.2%. Kick ass little mix there. I still haven't gotten to mixing that one yet. I apologize, Tommy. Uh, Trucker's Warm Apple Pie from Larry Mandalorian. Here he uses it at 1%. With some VSO bourbon, no surprise there. Baked apple from VSO. Apple filling, green apple, pastry zest, and some one on one pie crust. And let's see, I think I saw, yeah, Fresh has triple CG mixed in about a week ago. Caramel cookie, caramel cookie dough, coffee, and gelato. Use all the new wonder flavors here. He uses it at 0 0.8, and the cookie dough at 2, cotton candy jelly bean at 1, mocha and cream at 1. The vanilla gelato at three. There you got some good, good looking mixes here. Let's see, Tam did butter my Bedino Fidalgo. This is charity stream. This one, uh, Fidalgo asked Tam to mix, mix them up something. I actually asked all of us to mix, mix them up something. Fidalgo is a you know awesome mixer, great member of the community. He had donated a lot of money, and we he put us to work, and we were happy to do it. Uh, he here Tam uses it at three quarters of a percent with the caramel butter and the butterscotch cream pie and flavor of cream and vanilla pudding and the new whipped cream fresh at one nice just yummy yummy looking mix there and there's not I mean there's not a whole lot I could say let's see I'll go let's see I'll give Michelle's Michelle some love here you got she uses it at point eight. With the cookie dough, the cotton candy jelly bean, the French vanilla thick sweetener, and the vanilla gelato. She uses the vanilla gelato at three, which I think is a good spot for that mix. And I don't want to leave Sam out. Sam is another amazing mixer. You can see him on Noted every Monday. And you see him around different shows, you see him in a lot of the chats. Just an awesome dude. Here he's working with the New Wonder Flavors line. Uh, it's almost all new Wonder Flavors, except for uh, the Chocolate Chunks is a little bit older. And Cookie Butter was from about a year, excuse me, about a year or so ago. Uh, salted Caramel here, he used it 2.5%, so he went a little hard in the paint with it here. Uh, with the uh, Chocolate Chunks, Cookie Butter, Cookie Dough, Sugar Cookie, and some Sweetener. So another good looking mix. And we're back up top. So there's three salted caramels. You know, I mean, Wonder Flavor is one. You get a little bit more salt. You know, give that salty vibe to it. Uh, the other two, you don't really get much of the salt. But they're, you know, the Flavor West and the Vape Train are rather interchangeable. Both very, very usable caramel flavors. So, gang, that's it for another week. Hope everybody has been enjoying the content. Uh, give it a like, like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you for After Dark tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. So be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.